Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and uh, I'm just doing a short video which will be featuring some of the local plants here. I'm in, uh, I'm fortunate enough to be in Athens for a couple of days, and I just thought I'd do a couple of the uh, local fruiting plants. This one is a carob bean, and uh, you can see it's actually starting to uh, flower. And I should be able to feature some oranges growing here and no doubt some olives as well. But I thought I'd do the carob first. This is in the grounds of one of the uh, Greek temples. Starting into growth here in February. So I'll pause this and move on to the uh, next plant. Needless to say, there's olive trees by the thousands here. I think they've had a lot of problems with viruses in Greece and other parts of Europe with them dying back. Hardly any fruits worth mentioning on this one. There's one tiny fruit there. Probably can't see it, but if I see one later with more fruits on, I'll take a picture of it. So that's the olive tree. Got one small citrus here. Might be a calamondin because the fruits look particularly small and they're falling off the tree. Certainly not a uh, bitter orange or sweet orange. See quite a lot of fruits on the floor there, but they are only small, probably just over an inch in size, so not a normal eating orange. And so it's probably something like a calamondin. Okay, so we're filming here, we found a loquat. Got fruits forming on it, it's obviously done its winter flowering. And next to it is an orange with larger fruits on. Might be a tangerine, but I think it's probably an orange. Whether or not it's a sweet or bitter orange, I wouldn't know. They're just being left to go rotten on the tree, all covered in mould. And I'd say mealy bugs. Right, walking around, found a couple of pomegranates on a tree. Looks like it goes semi dormant for winter, but no one's even bothered picking them. Look, this one's completely split open, probably been eaten by the birds. Just one on the tree, but I suppose they're so cheap to buy in the shops here, no one even bothers to pick them. So that's a pomegranate, and that is just growing in a tiny little container. So they don't need a lot of soil, all they, what they need is heat. Well, I had to show these. Now these look, these look slightly flattened to me, so I'm wondering if these might be some kind of uh, tangerine or mandarin. Definitely not. I've definitely got a slight flattening to them. Might be an orange. They just don't seem to be even be picked off the trees here. I mean, look. The reason I've come up this road is there's literally, literally dozens of these fruits here. They might be bitter oranges of some sort. I mean, the whole road is covered with different types of, uh, I'd say they're different types of orange, I'm not sure. This one's a bit sickly and they look smaller. What a dream to live in this climate and be able to just plant citrus in your garden if you wanted to. The joys of a Mediterranean climate in Athens. Stop the video, come back to your oranges later. There's another olive tree. This one's actually got olives on it, so I thought I'd film it. They're pretty black, so they're probably ripe. I can't see any signs of new flowers on them yet, but I'm guessing they'll be flowering again soon. Anyway, pause the video and catch up with you later. And here we've got a fig tree here. Interestingly enough, they're uh, completely dormant, even here in Greece. I wasn't sure if it might have held onto its leaves, but apart from a couple, 
you see the buds are starting to show a bit of green, so it'll probably be budding out in March, uh, much, much earlier than we would in the UK, but quite a substantial sized plant. Thought it'd be worth dropping that in the video as well. Here we are back again, managed to find a lemon tree now. Look at that. Absolutely covered in lemons. You wouldn't run short here, would you? That's in a little, um, seems to be in a, some kind of chapel courtyard, this one, so I guess it's, they're not picked by people, so it can't be reached easily. So anyway, that was a few, uh, few Athens-based fruiting plants I thought we might find of interest. It's funny we could grow them like this in the UK. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give me a, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share if you think anyone's interested. The sun's coming out now. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you'd like to be updated on new videos as they come out. Catch up with you all soon. That's out for now.